This is one of the most stunning pieces of vinyl I've ever seen. Richard Wright's Wet Dream, the Stephen Wilson mix. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Welcome Classic Rock fans to an exciting unboxing. Now I say exciting because anything that concerns Pink Floyd is of interest to this channel. And today we're looking at this wonderful item. This is the new vinyl edition of Richard Wright's Wet Dream. Now of course Wet Dream came out in 1978. Uh, this is the first time I've owned it on vinyl since I was, uh, since we go way back, uh, way back then. But this is a limited edition blue marbled vinyl. I'm not sure how limited they are, but I have it on pretty good authority. They're quite scarce or will be quite scarce. So it's worth getting a pre-order in now for it if you really want a copy of this item. I will, of course, put a pre-ordering link just below this video. As I said, this comes out on, the, on September the 29th. This was a fascinating album back in the day, and I must admit I really enjoyed the Stephen Wilson mix. I've just acquired a copy of it on CD, which uh, you can buy now if you want. This was a fascinating album. It's actually self-produced by Richard Ryan. He also wrote all the songs, apart from Pink's song, which he co-wrote with his wife. And this is an album that was actually recorded at Super Bear Studios, where, of course, David Gilmore would record his solo LP. I'd love Gilmore to do a remastering reissue campaign on some of his solo albums. Of course, the eponymous Gilmore solo album would be recorded just a few weeks after this one. This, of course, did not do particularly well. I don't think it, I think it got to about number 34 or 35 in the UK charts. Uh, but nevertheless, it's just sort of simmered away in the background. Um, and it's uh, with that wonderful hypnosis sleeve. The original sleeve, of course, was uh, designed by hypnosis. If you're interested, the personnel on this album included Richard Wright playing all the all the keyboard parts, of course, but also included Mel Collins on saxophone. We've got Snowy White on guitars, which is a special one, I think it's the first track, uh, Mediterranean Sea. I think he plays a wonderful bit of classical guitar on that, if my memory serves me right. But also, he, of course, he accompanies Floyd on the In the Flesh, the Animals tour of 77. We also got Larry Steele on bass guitar, Reg Isidore on drums. So no further ado, let's get the cellophane off this and take a better look at what we're getting. So here we are, here's the actual item itself. It's a beautiful matte sleeve that just oozes quality. There's a spine, I don't know if that actually picks that up. There's a spine and we get the rear. It's artwork that's very reminiscent or, or references the iconography of the original hypnosis design without replicating it. But look at that, isn't that fantastic? The inside, wonderful, wonderful, beautiful. If you're interested in who's responsible for the artwork, it's uh, photography was Costas Spathus, I don't know if he said his name right, art direction by Gala and Jamie Wright, but it's absolutely stunning. It really is, it's really heavy cardboard as well, which is exactly what you want. It comes with this insert which is uh, actually regales us with the original artwork. That's the original sleeve, the original rear of the sleeve, and here is the original gatefold as such. Beautiful. With a lovely picture by Richard Wright, circa 1978, which I don't know for sure, but it looks like it was taken probably outside the studio, very much in the same with the Gilmore artwork for the, his original solo album. Then we get the vinyl itself. Beautiful black polylined sleeve, which is what we want. Wait for it, wait for it, here comes the vinyl. Isn't that just stunning? Isn't that fantastic? Beautiful labels as well, aren't they just, aren't they just wonderful labels? the other side let's put it all back together and there's the actual label on the 
cellophane. So I'll actually keep this stuff because I'm really anal about it. So here we are, here's the uh, whole thing put back together. This is Richard Wright's Wet Dream, the 2023 Stephen Wilson mix on vinyl, which is released on the 29th of September. Pre-ordering link just below. Do get your orders in now. I think these will sell out quite quickly. Uh, limited edition doesn't say uh, how many uh, it's limited to, but I have them on good authority that they're pretty scarce. So there you are, beautiful item. I'd love to know what you think of this album. What do you think of the Stephen Wilson remix? And more importantly, do you intend to buy this one? As always, leave your wonderful comments in the boxes below. I'd love to know your thoughts on uh, the original album and this remix and this vinyl edition. So thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, please do click like, subscribe, and do check that notification bell. It makes all the difference to um, throwing the odd bone to the YouTube algorithm. And share this video, why not share it? Uh, other than that, do check out some of the links below this video for ways you can support the sterling work done at this channel. Become a patron, why not? There's a sterling body of work on there now. Other than that, I'll just leave you with my closing salvo, which is hope you're well, staying safe, and that you keep listening.